that there are times when you've got to display that technical knowledge because that helps them trust you as well. Is you, if you talk about a movement or an action or a, a completion of something, and they're like, yeah, "But none of that is technical. You don't understand the positioning, the landing, etc." That lowers their trust as well. But what gets that just it makes the athlete go, okay, they know what they're talking about, but do they care? And that's the final piece of the puzzle is them going, okay, they, they know what they're talking about well enough for me and they care about me. And you're right, you, you've got to have the balance of both. And every now and again, you've got to put the hammer down, but every now and again, it's an arm on the shoulder. We say all the time, it's either boot or the arm on the shoulder and every, it can change day to day. I'll open the doors for some session. I'm like, oh, the boot today it is. And then I'll open the doors some days and I'm like, ah, I'm on shoulder today. Look at them. They're, they're all half asleep or, you know, they had a, a thumping on Wednesday and it's a Friday morning. They've got a game on Saturday. I'm like, right, okay, I've got to ease off here today. But, yeah, it, it can change and it should change. We as coaches should be malleable. And there's days where I've walked in, chucked the TV on, oh, I'm revved up for today. Come on, boys, let's have it. I'm like, that ain't working today. TV off. Let's go. Let's go and change it. My intern laughs at me all the time. He's like, I don't know why you bother programming. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I should just make an update today, shouldn't 